All right, what's going on, y'all? Today we're playing Storm Kiln Artist Combo. This has been around for kind of a while, but I haven't seen anyone play it since Neo came out, and Invoke Calamity is a huge upgrade. So basically what we do here is, you know, Storm Kiln Artist says Magecraft, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, you make a treasure. Then we cast a whole bunch of instants and sorceries and make a bunch of treasures, including stuff like Unexpected Windfall and Prismari Command that make additional treasures on their own. Then this gets plus one plus oh for each artifact you control. So then if you have 10 treasures, this is a 12 2. So then you get that to have a very high power, and then you throw it at your enemy's face, either by just attacking because you've killed other creatures, or by using Kazul's Fury here, which is adjacent to Fling, Fling being the original card that had this effect, Sacrifice Creature, deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. So we get this real big, then we throw it at their face, Galvanic Iteration means that you can have this as just a 10, then you can copy your Fury, and then that'll deal 12, or 20 to them, which is of course enough to kill them. Uh, Yelvanic Iteration, one of my favorite cards in Standard. This is absolutely beautiful. You get to copy all the other very nasty things you're doing in this deck. Then Invoke Calamity counts as three cast triggers for Stormkiln Artist, because you cast this, and then you cast two more spells from your graveyard, so you get three treasures. And then we also combo that with Galazeth, so then our treasures don't have to sacrifice two tap for mana. So we can use them all to cast spells, and this power doesn't go down, it just keeps going up and up with the more spells we cast, and then it's much easier to get it to a lethal range. And the rest of the deck is just, is it control stuff? I've been pretty happy with Flame Blast Bolt lately. Uh, a lot of little 1 and 2 toughness creatures that need to die very quickly, as well as Spike Field Hazard. But a lot of them, of course, have 2 toughness, so you can't just run for Spike Field Hazards. Like, uh, Hopeful Initiate is one that Flame Blast Bolt kills. Uh, expressive Duration, Find Our Cards, Prismari Command, and Unexpected Windfall both provide card selection and treasures. Cinderclasm and Burn Down the House are sweepers. Uh, have a bunch of spell lands as well. Burn Down the House also a threat against control. Then we're running a pretty low land count. Uh, let's see, what is it here? In 21 land lands, but then we have three Kazul's Fury, two Juaris, and two Spike Fields, which brings us up to 28 total. Uh, we're pretty red balanced in the mana base to make sure we can cast Invoke Calamity when we want to. Only four blue sources here. That's also why we're playing Snarls. Normally don't like Snarls, but when you want to cast Invoke, they help a little bit. Um, yeah, that is the deck. Let's go try it out. Yeah, that should be fine. The aforementioned cards that can interact with Mono White when we're on the draw. And if they're not good, we can loot them away with the commands. Nope, it is mono white. Old spike field here in case they play Luminarch. Beautiful. Die. Become exiled, rather, but not quite the same ring to it. Alright, Galazeth's not a bad pickup here. Maybe I should have iteration there. Mm. Alright, play an Usher. Paladin class. Uh, let's just take the one for one on the Luminarch here. And we can command away this initiate, and then they'll be left with nothing on the board. Should be okay. Galazeth. Alright. Vein's not a huge problem just yet. Should keep the mountain because there's snarls in the deck. Play this out. Play Galazeth. Have iteration to find some more action next turn. do need to get rid of Redain in order to go off, but that will not be for quite some time, and it doesn't attack into Galazeth. I guess they might as well bluff it, but I don't think there's any spell they're playing for one mana that gives plus one plus one. Yeah. No, I think I'm gonna iterate this iterate. We don't have anything else going for us, we want to make sure we hit something good. Go 
Okay, we want those. Uh, definitely the storm kiln. I guess we can play the Kazul's Fury as a land. Or we could Galvanic a 2 damage removal spell if we hit one off the next one. Just a Flame Blast Bolt. That's well, not super likely. Let's just take the Fury. Okay. Windfall to hand. Land. Land. Doesn't really matter which land I play here. Guess we need lots of red mana. They have the land, they can up their paladin class and start attacking in here. This could be a wandering emperor, so I'm gonna pass. Especially if I'm under Redain tax, I need Galazeth on board to go off. That is the best card they can play for four mana. So we've got basically two turns here. Start here. Not that I have much other choice. I'll take this to hand, play the other iteration. Build up some more treasures. This Prismari command do anything. I guess it's a lot cheaper than Windfall. We already have two Windfalls. I can play the Mountain. Just give double strike. So that is lethal. We have to block. Which makes it not terribly likely that we can win here. I guess we can double Prismari command, kill the Legion Angel. I guess we might as well kill the Redain. This Legion Angel is not lethal on its own. Unless they have a Luminarch. I think that's a risk we have to take. We could have second Redain. There's only so much we can do. Attack for 11. lethal. I guess we could hit a way to kill it before combat. If we windfall here. We hit a flame blast bolt. Okay, not dead. Easy. 
So we can take out the Cathar. With double bolt. And then attempt to double windfall into a fling. I guess a burn down the house would also do it. Alright, Galazeth keeps us alive here. anything I can invoke here to kill them. Not to win the game, but I can invoke to keep the combo going. Do I want to take out their angel? That's probably smartest, so we can like Prismari command Flame Bless Bolt. Two damage, and I guess I'll take the the loot. We have enough treasure. Red invoke is so good here. Burn down the houses, not bad. Can actually make devils here and attack. Gonna make a bunch of devils? That sounds good. And then they should just be dead next turn no matter what they do. What a turn, right? Casual 15 treasures over here. Thalia? Oh, yeah. Sure. Dead Galazeth in the air, they're dead of the devils. That, that was beautiful. Nice, nice. Uh, this doesn't really do anything. Like, we need some action on early turns just because of how much mono white and mono white adjacent stuff there is. Bless bolts will be great here. They might have something better to hit with it. Like that. Okay, I'll take a storm killing artist. Uh, I think we play this this turn just to make sure we can curve out to four. Be a while before we start flinging. down. Maybe they'll spend their turn angel firing instead of removing it. No, they remove it. Ouch. Alright. Cinderclasm here. One time. I drop off the windfall. I definitely want to hit land here and then Calamity next turn can clean these up. Though not if they angel fire one of them. 
All right, if the angel fire the adversary, then we can get that. Don't have to show them that we play blue cards just yet. Oh no, sure. They probably should angel fire the Cathar so they gain more life. But then we can double shock that next turn. Right, because it'll be a 4-4. Four, four. Gets plus two, and then this anthem goes away. We go to nine. They're out of resources, except for their cave, which is a little annoying. I can double Calamity. That's pretty good. I do not want to let it go to night, though. Yeah, double Calamity is... Uh, I don't have anything to discard to the, the Windfalls, though. So there's actually no point. Hmm. All right, we'll save this then. Do I want a treasure token? Or do I want another card? I think getting both halves of the Scalvanic Iteration will be pretty good. Okay, don't draw a creature, please. Alright. Another creature land is not great for us. That does threaten lethal next turn. Another iteration doesn't do much for me. Can I afford to start attacking here? I can trade the bugbear for their 2 2 or their bugbear, which I think is better for me than trading the Stormkiln Artist. need an invoke now though. I guess triple Prismari command gets it done. Right, because we can kill the etching and the cave. It takes five plus three, yeah we have enough. Still want to kill the etching. A little surprised they didn't attack with it here. So, two damage, treasure. Two damage, treasure. Two damage, treasure. Remain at three. Hoo -hoo. Let's see. I guess discarding the galvanic iteration is not too bad. Let's see what we can make happen here. And we'll kill this. Might as well. I do have haste. Can I attack for 15 here? 
with the spike field hazard. I'll risk it. I guess now I can iterate. Try and find something else helpful. Galazath is a nice blocker. Take the untapped land. And we have Galvanic Spike Field if they come out with anything that can kill me here. As long as they don't have anything that deals 3 to face. Wait for them to target my iteration. Maybe they hit something else. They've seen that I play Invoke Calamity. I'll cast it here. I can wait for their end step to do that, right? Yeah. Nothing else. Take out their blocker. They should be dead to the artist. Sometimes you don't need need fling. You can just hit them with your 15-2. Oh, are they having a ganjo? Alright, that's fair. A little risky. Hold this for windfall purposes. No haster. We get one more draw at it. Got him. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Living on the edge. You know what? Double Cinder Class, I'm super good right now. We'll take it. Alright. Double Cinder Class, I'm not as good into High of the Eye Tyrant. As long as we can find a blue source for this iteration, though, we should be okay. There we go. play white cards, they play wedding announcement. I think I'm just going to Cinderclasm this token away. Because I'm going to have to discard the hand size next turn anyway. Because I plan on casting iteration. I'm probably not finding a one mana spell. Yeah. Mm, we'll take a storm kiln. We have a bunch of stuff to cast and make treasures already with the windfall and calamities. Soren is good. It's a fury. It's real ambitious to just play this with nothing else going on and expect it to survive against the Vanishing Verse deck. Cinderclasm, of course, doesn't kill the three toughness token. I think this is a windfall turn. I don't really like any of my other options. Probably discard the Fury. And we can recast it later off Invoke. Blood for knowledge. A fair trade. At least they don't have a particularly fast clock. Though it gets a lot better once this wedding announcement flips. Double wedding announcement. That is rough. This card is just ridiculous. We'll do this first. Maybe we'll use the treasures to Cinderclasm here. We also kick Cinderclasm next turn and it gets the same same effect. to try and get the storm kill an artist going they just have too much pressure on board to try and sit back play this because we have snarls that does turn off the kick cinderclasm angle but that doesn't really solve our problems anyway it's just really treading water 
If they do remove this somehow, I will kick the Cinderclasm just to keep their attacks down. And we get one of the treasures back anyway. Burn down the house would be great here. Take out their Planeswalker as well. Resolves. No, we still have the Storm Kiln. Alright, my turn. A little surprising. Guess we iterate first, and then we can invoke... Another storm kiln iteration. Is there any value in iteration in invoke here? Not really. Is second storm kiln too greedy? I don't think so. Well, I do. Th hmm. I think we put this back. Galvanic to hand, and then Prismari command will cast this turn. Keep the, the treasures coming. Can I afford to hit their face, or do I need to hit something that's attacking me? I think I need to hit something that's attacking me. This can set up for a Cinderclasm. don't think we can conceivably win this turn without a Galazeth available. Resolves. Then I land. Cast Invoke. Something to note, you have to be very careful when clicking with this deck. There is a decline button on Invoke Calamity for some reason. Uh. Alright, Spike Field Hazard is early interaction. Easy Mono White. The one that Spike Field Hazard doesn't kill, a little unfortunate. Maybe they'll play Luminarch. turn anyway. Yeah, best possible 3 drop. At least we have the burn down the house. We might be able to catch up here. No castables. A little scary. Alright, so we need land, windfall into an interactive piece. And then we probably still die. Okay, there's the first piece of the puzzle. We need an interactive piece that deals with Adeline, and we do not have any for two mana. Yeah. Mm, could be worse. That's an interaction on three. Alright, up against is it? If they're mill, their combo is probably faster than ours. Upkeep stop. Okay. 
I'm gonna pass here, get the value out of our iteration next turn. Maybe I'm supposed to do it now just to not get blown out by a Jwari this turn. Yeah, it was probably the play. Best of talents. Yeah, we're probably done now. They know exactly what we're doing, and we missed the land drop. Though, if they had Test of Talents last turn, it probably wouldn't have made much difference. I guess if I take one in my hand, I might draw into a land here. Alright. Still in it. First, do not get Jwarried. No, let's, let's start slamming these. I don't have any way to kill a 2-2 two -two at instant speed. Yeah, they are mill. And we want to draw half our deck anyway. This is probably a terrible matchup for us. Double crab. Okay. Although, if they don't have anything... What are the odds they take me out next turn? I think my odds of winning are much better if I get both storm kilns down. Now they have something. Obviously I can't do anything about it if they kill me this turn anyway through two blockers. Okay, main phase windfall probably means they can't mill me out right here. Let's attack and see if they block first, then we can do Galvanic Prismari shenanigans. to invoke their Cinderclasm? No, they can't kick it. I'm going to invoke their Windfall? Their Test of Talents. That was pretty good. And Windfall, I imagine. value to my invoking here, as opposed to casting Prismari Command. That might be better. No, I don't have enough red mana. I have three straight blue sources. Hit their face, make a treasure. Destroy their treasure, make a treasure. four storm kiln artists. They've milled all four storm kilns. I think we pass here. We've seen Cinderclasm. Having both of these out with absolutely nothing to back him up is not great. There's a fury. Block. 
Good choice. There's the Cinderclasm. Alright, math time. Buy Prismari here. Damage treasure. They go to 11. Alright, they have no priority. So that's it. 8. This gives me three more treasures. And then I can Prismari, get them down to nine, and then Kazul's Fury. Gets them to one. I think I just burned down the crabs, right? Give them the least possible chance to mill me. Okay. Bit of a close one. I'll take it though. And desperately needs a blue source, but if we find one, we're rocking. Okay, not a blue source. Not a matchup where Flame Blast Bolt is good. Alright, take the blue source though. We'll try and iterate here. They have nothing. Okay. Take an artist. This back. Take a land. Another is it gamer. Try and get the artist down. Hope they discarded their only means of creature removal. Alternatively, we can windfall. And have artist with something to back it up. I think I like that. We'll windfall on their turn. Probably discard the command. Kind of greedy with Galvanic Iteration in this deck. Very much want to hit both sides consistently. Iteration into Windfall again. Maybe not Windfall. I guess I'll take the Dwari. Flame Bless Bolt is pretty much dead here. Oh, I should have discarded the Flame Bless Bolt. What was I thinking? That's fine. Everybody plays around Jwari. Am I Galvanic bolting this? I think so. Yeah, have your two treasures, friend.
they have any more negates or fading hopes, of course, this is terrible. But if they just get to run away with gold span, we're super dead. Jwari, mega punish. Everyone plays around Jwari except for me, I guess. So they end up plus one treasury and plus one card from that exchange. Guess now we have to try and get this down. Sneak something in. Okay, they don't ruin it at instant speed. Better than nothing. Our deck just is not set up to interact with his it decks. It's not really feasible to both be able to interact profitably with Goldspan Dragon and with Mono White in the Izzet colors. Mono White being around three times as popular. That's how we end up with Flame Bless Bolt instead of things that can deal four damage. Alright, so they've got ten mana up and are presenting lethal. Even if I manage to kill one dragon. Start here. I think I'm going to need all my mana here. So we'll discard the Jabari. Can triple windfall. If we hit a fling and they're out of counter and removal spells, we might be able to get them. Iteration, iteration. Invoke. See, there's. Is there a way that invoke goes card pos treasure positive? I guess, yeah. We windfall, then this is one, two, three, four, five from whatever other spell we cast. So it's worth doing it now. Is it worth playing the second artist first? Yes. Galvanic iteration, Galvanic invoke. Yeah, we got two windfalls down there. Uh, we'll play the one they know about. Yeah, this turn's gonna take a minute. Sorry. sound bugging. Sacrificing too many treasures at once. Alright, copies. Treasure, treasure. Uh, windfall. Uh, discard land. Iteration. Try and find a fling. Triggers. There's a fling. And library exile. to uh, do the same thing, windfall, iteration, uh, and library exile, it's another fury. Alright, so, let's try and go to combat. Let's 
see if we can get them to spend a card here instead of going to one. Alright, that's a card and two treasures. So now they shouldn't be able to triple counter me. Let's see, I guess I windfall first, right? For maximum mana and shots at things that win the game. fall again off the invoke. Let's see, is my windfall on the stack here? Yeah. Resolves. Invoke. Not milling out, am I? No. Triggers. Windfall. Dwari. Express of iteration. Triggers. And library. Exile. This is goofy. Alright, how many do I need? So I have one, two, three. Four lethal right now. And they only have three treasures. That should work. So now they're only at one, right? So now we just double Kazul's Fury. And they die. Or no, the power goes down before this resolves, right? Yeah, uh, let them, let them have that. Fading Hope also on the stack. little worried about my ability to actually kill them, so we're going to burn their face a little bit here. This is treasure neutral. Deals two damage to them. Then we can invoke a double Prismari command. If I had time, I would actually go through the math and actually figure out how much I need but our timer is going, as is the opponents here. So, go for this as well. Triggers. Prismari, two damage, treasure. Prismari, two damage, treasure. Triggers. And now, is double fury going to be enough? I guess I can try and find another uh, iteration first. Smart of them to do this with the iteration on the stack, I should note. Let's see, how many have we used? There's um, two in exile and one on the stack, so we've used most of them. Guess we just have to hope they don't have two counter spells.
We don't have one counter spell. All right, a little overabundance of caution there, but we take it. Better safe than sorry, as they say. All right, and we're back. This deck is not for the faint of heart. There are a lot of game actions when you're actually going off, and it can be tricky to figure out which ones to do and just how many treasures you have to have before you cast your Castle's Fury to get them get them dead, but this was a whole lot of fun. I very much enjoyed it, and pretty powerful so far. I'm 7-3 and three overall with this deck. Uh, when you have Galazeth and Stormkiln Artist out, it is just so ridiculously easy to go off, and we did win a couple times there without both of them. You don't need both of them to win the game, but Stormkiln Artist, very just fun card. Make a bunch of treasures, Invoke Calamity it was phenomenal at every stage here. Are there some issues with the deck? Probably. Um thing is that is it removal spells are just really bad generally speaking at the moment the white and black removal spells are so much more flexible and efficient in most cases which is it's really difficult for this um, like you can't kill adeline easily on curve uh, we have a couple ways to kill their their early drops but they're not quite as flexible as blood chief's thirst or the white march for example uh, again also, the, the rune stack is another one where if they get something past a 5-5, five five, there's just no way this deck pretty much ever kills it unless you are in the super late game and you can galvanic your burn down the house, but at that point, you're not getting run over anymore. You might as well just win the game by copying other things. But, I mean, deck worked pretty well. We did beat some creature decks there with decent draws. Um, this combo was great. Invoke Calamity is a nice card. Uh, lots of options, lots of treasures, lots of mana, and just hitting your opponent when there's stuff they don't expect. Uh, some of the success of this deck might be that people don't respect Stormkill and Artist as much as they should. My opponents may have had the option to remove this immediately, and then I would not have been in nearly as good a spot as this is pretty much the only thing the deck can win through. We can also, like, somehow manage to grind them into dust and then hit them with all the Storm Giants and Galazath, but this is obviously the main thing, and if it's dead, we can't really do anything about that. Uh, the mix of spells, I think, is pretty solid. Uh, Jwari felt awkward in a lot of places there, but it's one of the only ways that you can hedge your bets against uh, being against the small creature decks. This can hit their two, two or three drop and get you a lot of tempo, whereas this can also be a land in the control matchups, and then you're your set as well, as you need a bunch of mana to go off against them, as you need to protect against counter spells and such, as you saw in that final game there. And these cards are great. Prismari Command and Unexpected Windfall are the engine that generates the treasures and does all the stuff. Uh, I don't think I would really change anything here. Maybe plus one blue source. You can go to up a Snarl. You could play a Life Gain Land or something instead of a basic mountain. It's just, there were a couple of games there where we didn't have a blue land on turn three to iteration, or we very likely wouldn't have, and then the game would have been much more difficult. But yeah, other than that, this was sweet. Thanks for watching.